Hello, today we're going to learn how to add a WAV file or AIF file into GarageBand and perhaps use the uh, use the musical typing and to set up a your own instrument. So first you have your WAV files or AIFF files um, someplace where you can get at them and have GarageBand open and you can go up here and you'll want to add a new track and add a software instrument. I already have just uh, like microphone instruments there, you know, to record, which is a real instrument. Um, so now you want to go down here and click on the eye. That'll open up this window here, which is all your sounds. If you clicked on these, you'd get your different sounds that you have. Um, we're going to go over to our sound that we want. I'm going to grab some breaking glass and pull it over into this window, and you'll see the plus sign here, and let go. And when you do that, you get this window, and you can name it anything you want. And you can put it wherever you want. I know it's an effect, and it's an impact sound. So that's what I'm going to put it is there and say create. And loop name already exists. Um, that's because I've already done it. I'm going to replace the original with this loop so you can see it. Go in here. Okay, and there we go, it's our breaking glass. I'm also going to put this little check here on my favorite so I can get it real easily if I need it later. Now you have a couple choices. You can either take the sound, which you might already know, and drag it up here to one of these audio tracks, and it will just play. Right. Or we can click on the grand piano, and we, we can't leave the grand piano because that's going to have all the sounds of the grand piano there. So we really want to go to um, another thing. I can go to our favorites, or we can go to, um, let's see. There's our breaking glass. And we can, first of all, go to here and click on this I. That'll bring us here. Instead of the piano sounds, we're going to go to sound effects because we know that's where we kept it. And these are like radio sounds is where the impact sounds are. Um, so then we can open up this window here for musical typing. And we have this nice little keyboard here. And we can go back. And you know that these are the sounds that are in the radio sounds right now. Right, we can go back to the eye here, take our breaking glass sound, drag it over the keys here, and just pick a key that you want to play it on. I'm going to pick K, let go. And now whenever I hit that key, that sound will happen. Okay? Another sound that I had added before was this buzz. Right, and so I'm going to take that and I'm going to add that to J. And the breaking glass and the buzz. Now that I have, let's say I, I added something to all these keys and this is my new instrument now, okay? So I want to save that instrument so I go under that I there and save instrument and name it anything you want. Okay, I'm going to say test instrument and save it. So now whenever I want to get to that keyboard thing, all I have to do is go to the, oops, I double click that, sorry. All I have to do, wait a minute, just go to my test instrument here. Browse. There we go. My test instrument and click that. If I click on the radio, I get the radio. 
if I click on test instrument, I get my breaking glass and my buzzing. Okay, I hope that helps. You can set this whole thing up to whatever you want, applause or effects or whatever you want, and go to it all the time and have all of them there to play. Okay? All right, have fun with it.